everyone and welcome to a vlog that hasn't been one for a little while um obviously things have changed significantly for me if you guys don't know about that i will link the video in the description and put up a card um that ian and i put up the other day to explain all of that i'm not going to talk about it obviously in this vlog but i'm sure most of you do know all about that now and obviously i am living somewhere different i'm just having my breakfast at the moment as you saw i'm having my yogurt and granola the granola was gifted by the way um in my digester box so just always have to make sure i let you guys know that um but i absolutely love it that's what i have every morning at the moment and yeah i thought i would do a day in the life vlog just to really let you guys know what life is like for me now because it is different and i just want to let you all know that i'm fine i had so many lovely messages from people and you guys are the best um i just wanted to say that as well just thank you so much but yeah i just want to let you know what an average day is like for me at the moment i am actually going to be seeing becky today because we're going to be recording the podcast she is going to be doing an episode with me which is really exciting and i've got a few other work bits to do this morning um then lots of other things later there's lots going on today so it's a good day for me to do a day in the life and one of the biggest things you've probably been wondering is where i'm living not where as in like specifically where <laughs> but my kind of situation um, so let me just elaborate on that a little bit so i have a new roommate <laughs> It's Kate. I'm not going to zoom in because she's doing her work over yeah, there. So I've got their makeup on. But use my untidy workstation. <laughs> I'm uh, fevering away today. Yes. Yeah, so this is where I'm living now. I'm living with Kate, and we're actually. It's been nice, hasn't it? It's been very, very nice for me. I have to say because living on my own would have been quite horrible at the moment. It's been um, very easy. Yes. Tell that we're best friends because we just kind of slip into yes. routine around each other. It's quite nice. It's like when we go to Florida, we just kind of. Yeah, it's good. It's been good. Without all the Instagram pictures. Yes. <laughs> We're not sitting around in mini ears every day. There's that difference. Yeah. We're hoping to get to Florida. Um, Kate's also planning on going in September. Um, so fingers crossed. I know a lot of you guys are also waiting to go. So we are exactly the same. Checking travel updates. Just hoping we get to go on our trip. Because it's been a long time. I've one trip cancelled already this year. This would have been my second. Yeah. Um, and when that I'll get to go you were last there with me, I guess, in... 2019, September. Yeah, September 2019. I had a May trip, but this year, and a September trip, and neither is going to happen. I feel your pain. So, yes, we're hoping September, but, yeah, this is what we're doing now. So, we're going to do a little day in the life, so Kate will be probably reappearing a bit later as well, once we're done with work. So, I'm just jumping in the car now because I'm off to Becky's to record this podcast. I haven't seen her for a little while, so it'll be really nice to see her have a coffee and stuff while I'm there, and then it'll be time to go to the supermarket... I don't know which one to go to, depends. I might go into the one on the most direct route home, although that isn't the one I usually go to, but I'll take you guys with me, obviously, um, because this is a day in the life. And um, yeah, let's hope the traffic isn't too bad. It's been really bad around here lately, so fingers crossed for me that I make it, because, no, no, actually, I'm making fairly good time. This is not too bad for me, so um, I'll see you at Becky's. So I'm now here at Becky's and we're just about to record the podcast. First episode that Becky is ever and doing. I did Animal Kingdom. Oh, yes, you did. That was yes. a long time ago, though. Wow, that was that, a long time ago. it's literally so long ago yeah. that I'd forgotten. That was like yeah. episode eight or something. Yeah, that was really old. And here's Becky. Hi. Say hello. So, yes, we are actually a lot of people are going to be in this vlog because Kate's already yeah. been in it. Yeah. You're in it. Yes, sir. Our friend Helen is coming around later. Oh, so nice. she will also Hi, be Helen. in it. So yes. For later on. For later on, yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to record this um, and we're talking about the 50th anniversary, which we are so, so hoping Please let us see it. that we are going to be there for <laughs> because, oh my word, yes, oh, we're, we're, we're talking about it in anticipation that we're actually yeah. going to get to be there, but fingers crossed Come on, let us into your beautiful country yes please. me and kate were talking about this this morning and obviously you're due to go as well so everyone is just got everything crossed i think for yeah. for september october trips yeah. we're just very hopeful but we'll see we will see what happens so we've made it to tesco in the most important aisle obviously the snack aisle just contemplating and also feeling disappointed at the pringle flavors anyone who's been to the states they have so many pringle flavors not here unfortunately thinks makey bacon is the way forward um yes if this is what i think it is is this like a caramac oh my word yes this is happening gotta have a little sneaky look at the makeup while we're here if anyone hasn't tried this lipstick the rimmel stay matte it's actually quite good i've also been meaning to try this lasting finish but because you can't test anything it's really hard to pick the color it is spf 20 so that's kind of why i wanted it for summer 
I don't know. If I buy one, it'll be the wrong shade, 100%. They have a very small stationery section, but I think we still need to have a look. I mean, do I need more pens? No, obviously not. Oh, look at these. I do like this brand and I love those ombre ones, but we don't need them. Nor do we need the rose gold ones, but they're nice too. Okay, we're gonna move on. Oh, okay, so I'm out of Tesco. It was really hot in there. It's super muggy today and now I'm overheated. <laughs> and my theory about um, not needing as much stuff, so going in person, the problem I've discovered with that is impulse purchasing. When you buy stuff online, you don't really impulse purchase stuff as much. So actually, didn't really save any money doing it that way. Um, I actually probably bought more stuff than I normally would. So maybe I'll just get it delivered from now on. Um, but it's actually quite nice just having a little wonder, having a look what they've got and stuff. That's the downside if you do your shopping online is you don't always like see everything. So anyway, I'm now gonna head home. I don't know how bad the traffic is gonna be because it's like, yeah, pretty much rush hour. So wish me luck. And um, then Kate and I are going to go back to the house um, to say hi to Ian and to pick up the treadmill because we're going to bring it over and actually use it because I was using it every day. So uh, yeah, we're going to go and collect that. And then our friend's coming around this evening. So it's been a busy day today. I've been going from one place to the next and um, yes, off again. So yeah, hopefully the traffic is not going to be too terrible. Later. So it's later on now. It is absolutely pouring with rain. <laughs> really really bad and um kate is driving Hi. and we're actually in a mum's car because we are going to pick up the treadmill and we needed something big enough to fit it in um i'm pretty sure it wouldn't fit in my car or yours to be fair it does fold but i don't know um but we're excited to get it because we both need to do some exercise we were saying <laughs> earlier we've been so bad haven't we like yeah. really I, not I good I mean, in fairness, I think over the course of the last 18 months, a lot of people have experienced the same thing. So it's all good, but obviously we've got Florida trips and whatnot coming up and just generally we want to be a bit healthier. And I was using the treadmill every single day. So I do feel bad that I haven't done it for a while. So we're going to get it and start using it in theory, like half an hour each day, each per day. So yeah. like a lunchtime or something. So that's the plan anyway. We will see how that pans out and I'll obviously keep you guys updated. Um, it's been so busy today. I feel like doing a day in the life, this probably is one of the busier days um, than normal. Normally we're just at home working and I've been to Becky's and supermarket and here and there and it's just been a pretty busy one, but it's all good. It's better to be busy than quiet. Um, and we were just saying as well, the other thing that's been so annoying, I don't know about where you guys are, but we have had so much rain here, which is a massive bummer. But in the evenings and weekends and stuff, you just can't go outside. Um, Kate has a hot tub at home, which is really nice. But obviously if it's pouring with rain, um, we're not going to go in it. But we'll see. Maybe later we will if it's not raining. We'll see what happens. But Love Island is on tonight. Let me know in the comments if you've been watching it. We've been loving it, haven't we, so far? Yeah. Um, it's been a little bit of drama going on. It is my guilty pleasure watching Love Island, I have to admit. You guys know I do love it. Um, and we've been watching the old series because Kate hasn't seen all of them. <laughs> so we've been watching it non-stop. I'm up to date now. Yeah, you're all up to date. Um, and Kate also, I think, agreed with me that two, series two and series six were the best ones, I think, so far. Yeah. And we'll see about this one. Um, but there is a guy in it this time who's from um, Somerset. He actually is from Western, which is where I go to get my hair done. And if you watch Love Island and you're not from the West Country, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about from his accent because he has the thickest West Country accent I've ever heard. It's hilarious. Um, so yeah, we, we like him. We want him to win because he's he's just got a very, very good Southwest accent, which we like. Um, Jake, for those of you who may not know what I'm talking about. And then we're going to go home and make dinner. That's the other thing. We've not been eating that healthily. Um, the statement of the year. To put it mildly, haven't we just been so bad? This is why we've been piling on the pound. <laughs> yeah, it's been bad. So um, we've been we've been cooking. I've been quite good. Um, I'm going to go back and cook um, dinner while Kate takes the car back and switches back for her car. So that is the plan. So we are back and have the treadmill and it folds up. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it folded, probably just um, how it was in the room it was in before. And I think we're going to shuffle this corner, which has the guitar and put it in there. And then we can just kind of open it up here to use it hopefully every day. That's the plan. Kate has just gone to take her mum's car back and pick up her car and also pick up Jet. You guys haven't seen Jet for the longest time. She has featured in the vlogs before and some of you might remember back in 
oh, when was it? 2019, I think May 2019, um, when we were supposed to go to Florida and poor Jet had an accident. She was hit by a car. Um, Jet is the dog, by the way, just in case anybody's not sure about that. Um, Kate's dog. And um, yeah, Kate couldn't come on the trip at the last minute. It was all very like dramatic and, and crazy right before we went away. Um, but she's so good now. Um, she had lots of operations and stuff. And um, yeah, she's lovely. She's the loveliest dog. So she will be back in a minute and you guys can see her. Um, but I've been left in charge of dinner and we are having a very, very basic dinner tonight. We are having um, jacket potatoes or baked potatoes if you're in the US. Um, very easy, but at least we're not eating anything bad. So I'm gonna get that done for when Kate gets back. And here we are, jacket potato. I'm just waiting for the beans and um, Kate's got veg with hers and I have got salad with mine. So we're trying to be good. I feel like this is not too bad at all compared to what we have been eating. <laughs> so. I'm very excited for this, so I'm absolutely starving. I've barely eaten anything today. So it's way later on now. We've had our dinner, which was really nice. I just realized I haven't even looked at my makeup today. I don't know what it's looking like, so apologies if it's looking bad. <laughs> and um, we're just about to watch, um, we were gonna watch Love Island. It's just coming up to nine o'clock, and then we realized they've moved it till 10 because the football is on tonight, England are playing. And I'm assuming that's where they've moved it because they know everybody will be watching that. So we're not interested in watching the football, I have to say. We're gonna watch, um, love rosie which i think i've said before in the vlogs i love it it's one of my favorite movies kate hasn't seen it so we're just going to put that on while we wait for love island and kate is having a bit of a eyelash disaster so since having my covid jab i have become allergic to my eyelash case so i can no longer have extensions but since having them out i'm having to perm my eyelashes. <laughs> she is perming her eyelashes one by one so it's going to take hours but hey yes so that's not great. And I think I told you guys I had a problem with suddenly becoming allergic to eyelash glue. Nothing to do with my COVID jab just ages ago. Um, but I have found one now that's okay. Um, but you're struggling with all different ones, aren't you? Yeah. Mm, which is super any, weird. So yeah, it's very enjoy. annoying. So you are eyelash perming, which is going to take a while. But And it smells like... <coughs> yeah, it doesn't smell very... Thing. No, it's, it's that kind of um, like perm solution smell, isn't it? Like on your hair, when you... Well, perming is a bit before my time to be honest so I've never smelled perm solution. I have I've been in the salon before years ago next to someone getting a perm and it does smell like that it smells really bad I'll let you see the finished results yes we'll see see what it's like afterwards okay shocking extreme close-up of Kate <laughs> so sorry if that was a bit suddenly out of nowhere <laughs> Um, so we're trying to look at the eyelash um, difference so this one has been permed and the other one hasn't and I can I can tell the difference definitely yeah yeah, you can. Looks good. Yeah, you definitely can tell the difference if you look like straight on. Yeah. And that was an at-home kit, was it? Mm-hmm. Yes. I'll show you what it is in a minute that she used, just in case anyone's interested. So for those who may be interested, this is what she's used. And it was about £14 on Amazon, you said? Yeah. Um, so I will link it in the description. But yeah, that actually did... I could definitely tell the difference. And when you've got your mascara on as well, obviously that makes a big difference as well. So this is the kind of thing we do in the evenings now, don't we? <laughs> Nails or eyelashes and similar things like that. So I've just come upstairs to do a few things and I just wanted to show you a couple of things I've recently got. One of them being these ears. How <laughs> cute are these? Um, they're not gifted or anything. These are actually Disney ones. So they're from Shop Disney UK. Um, I got a couple of pairs um, for people on Patreon who have their rewards coming up and one of the rewards is a gift from the parks. And I just think these are so nice. I think even on camera, they don't look as nice as they are in person. They're absolutely amazing. Um, I might even put a picture of me wearing them in the thumbnail so you can kind of see them on. But yeah, I just love these. They're so, so nice. The back is really unusual as well. From the front, you kind of just get the turquoise and um, pinky sort of colors but on the back they look different again so yeah i love 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 these and i also wanted to show you a couple of items from ears ever after these were very kindly gifted to me by natasha who owns this ear shop um as well as ears they have apparel and everything they've just expanded so much with their range and she very kindly sent me some cruise items you guys know i've got my cruise coming up in august which i'm so excited for and i absolutely love this this is the t-shirt it feels so soft and i'm gonna wear this with with some white shorts and she also sent me the matching ears which are so cute I mean look at these they're absolutely amazing so these will be available again I believe at the end of July um, the way it works the shop opens um, for a certain amount of time and then will reopen again when they've restocked so I will link it below anyway and you can check over there 
oh someone's just started drilling outside sorry about that so you can check over there when the shop reopens and what availability there is for stuff but she has so many different designs for apparel and this cruise design is just amazing and I also just wanted to show you in my A5 ring agenda planner so I've done a couple of videos on this um when in the haul video and setting it up and everything and I mentioned to you guys that I was going to get some stickers to go on the um monthly boxes so this is the bit I'm talking about so these I always like to have the months I still haven't decided exactly what I'm going to use these for yet um, but I knew I definitely wanted some stickers and I got these from an Etsy shop called Sticky McSticker Face <laughs> which I just think is hilarious and um, these are actually clear stickers but they've got kind of the ombre colour going on I just thought these were really really nice um, and I've done them obviously this way across you could do it kind of that way if that makes sense but yeah I've got all the way across to June next year so I love these and I just wanted to show you them because I know I mentioned it in my setting up video and I said I would show you which ones I got so we are now watching Love Island we're we not watching the football because you know not our thing we've been told the score is 2-1 in, in, in extra time so that's exciting for those who might be interested in that but we're watching Love Island and as I promised you guys I will show you Jet yeah. There she is. She is. Oh. Thank you, baby. You're such a good girl. She is such a good girl. So as you can see, she's she's very well recovered from last time you guys would have heard about her. So she's lovely. Being spoiled as usual. Yes, as usual. You know, that's always the case. But we do love her. So you'll be seeing her a lot probably from now on. My goodness, this is some very very bad lighting sorry about that um i'm talking a bit quieter i'm now upstairs um ready to go to bed and my new little kind of nighttime routine i always bring up a cup of tea i have my planner here and i basically look at the next day um what i need to do work wise what's happening what videos i need to edit everything um just go through and fill out my planner so i know what's going to be going on a lot of you might be wondering why you didn't see our friend helen because i mentioned her earlier she actually forgot she was coming around this evening <laughs> So when people were like, where are you? Um, she had forgotten. So you'll see her some other time. Um, and we just, as you saw, watched Love Island and some other TV and stuff and just chilled basically. Um, so yeah, that's my little evening. I bring my cup of tea up, do my planner, um, maybe watch a few things on YouTube. And also I did try this, um, which I purchased at Tesco, you would have seen earlier. And it basically is like Caramac. If you live in the UK, you'll know what Caramac is. Um, it's like a Cabri version. It's not quite as good as Caramac though. I don't know exactly what is different about it, but it's just, I don't know, it's not quite as good. Um, it is nice though. So I just had a little bit of that. I don't normally eat things like that this late at night, but I couldn't resist trying it. Um, and yeah, it's just been a very kind of average day, I would say. Normally I would be doing a lot more work at home um, in terms of like on the laptop, editing, um, or doing Instagram stuff, all that kind of thing. Today has been more um, being out, recording the podcast and all that kind of thing. Um, so depending how long this video is, I may add a little bit of tomorrow on. I don't know, we will see what happens. This might be the end of the vlog, or potentially there might be a little bit more tomorrow when I come to edit it, so we'll see what happens. Um, but I really just wanted to let you guys know that I'm okay, um, kind of show you in my new routine, in my new environment, um, because I know a lot of you will be um, thinking about that. I know a lot of you have kind of been worried about whether I'm okay, and I am okay. Obviously it is difficult adjusting to change, it's a big change for me. Um, but I'm doing okay. It's not easy, but it's it's great. You can see that I've got Kate and she's amazing. Um, I don't know what I would do without her. So um, yeah, it's all good and I am okay. So that's pretty much going to be the end of this vlog. Like I said, it might have been a slightly shorter one. I have just been looking at the news on my phone and it sounds like in the States, a lot of the travel industry over there are really pushing the government for um, reopening of international travel so whenever I see things like that it gives me a little bit of hope that things might go in the right direction um, so as we've been talking about a lot today hopefully that means that we may be able to go 
on our trip in September. I really, really hope so. But that's pretty much going to be it for now. I'm just going to maybe watch something on YouTube and then head to bed. But I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to you guys for all of your lovely messages and for being so supportive. Um, it really does mean so much to me and I obviously don't necessarily reply to everything individually, but thank you so, so much. Um, thank you to everybody who is supporting over on Patreon. Um, as I said at the moment, that really, really does help so much. And just for watching my videos, everything you guys do, um, you are all amazing. So just thank you so very much um, for being here and for following along on my journey. And it is going to be a bit different from now on, but I just really appreciate all of you for being here. So thank you and with that i'm going to head to bed so i will see you guys in the next video i'm not sure which video is coming up next i've definitely got some exciting videos coming up with doing more travel in the uk so keep an eye out for that and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already um so you don't miss any of that coming up um very very soon um but i'm not entirely sure what the next video will be i don't know we will see it'll be a surprise to me as well but as always thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're having a great day and i will see you in the next one